More often than not, Duke's natural good humor and friendliness overcame what he called his damned Irish temper. No matter how busy Duke was, he was very gracious to his fans and friends. I remember when my folks were visiting from England, and, you know, we took them over to the house to meet Duke, and he was nice enough to invite us in, even though he was running late for an appointment. He showed us the house, uh, took time out to pose on the patio for photographs. And he was even nice enough to say to my folks, you have two fine boys there. Of course, that made the trip to hear that from such a guy. Duke enjoyed getting out and meeting people, often going ashore to pick up small items such as toothpaste or a Sunday newspaper. Unlike other Hollywood stars, Duke remained extremely approachable to his fans. His secret for quickly handling crowds of admirers without disappointing anyone who asked for an autograph was to pass out cards already printed with his name and signature. Aisa Wayne described her father as having faith in ordinary people. That they returned that faith so strongly was, in his opinion, nothing short of extraordinary. If Duke sought sanctuary aboard the Wild Goose, he was unexpectedly tolerant of personal picture-taking by friends and tourists, not to mention a ship's crew that seemed to be constantly pointing their 8mm home movie cameras in his direction. Duke took it all in stride.